All right, here's my Hewitt Industries EGT gauge. There's a part number. Show this on a weird, weird angle. Another nice gauge. Nicely packaged. Instructions. Pretty detailed instructions. Shouldn't really be able to mess this one up. Sorry for the wind noises. Play windy today. Okay. Here's everything they give you. It's your plastic nuts to hold it on. So you clean it into the gauge pillar, wherever you put it. Put a little spacer ring. Again, another part number. Really nice wiring. They give you two different style fittings. It's all really nice, high quality stainless steel. This tilt solid. Not no cheap crap. This is this, this is the one that'll work on my truck. So that was just going to screw into there. Luckily we have a T6 manifold that already has bungs in it. I like how they already give you this heat shrink on here. When you get these connections done, you just slide this over and shrink it. Keep that all sealed up. Nice steel braided wire around it. Really nice high quality connections. They give you everything you need. It's really nice. A bit of wiring. Wiring. It gives a copious amount of it. Once again, really nice connections. This is the part number. In this case, everyone ever gets one of these kits and needs this part. So these are really simple, so these here will just plug into the back of the gauge. It's really simple. I'll just connect it, just disconnect it. I'm pretty sure on these, the white is ground and the black is actually power, which I just double checked and it is. So the white is ground and the black is power. Just remember that. Pretty much ready to go. I'm going to do a little install here. It's going to go in place of my other ones, which are right here. It's going to go with the top up here. I don't use that fuel pressure gauge anymore. I'm going to remove that. Go back shortly. Okay, so I'm just connecting the wiring here. I did a quick little wiring job here. In a couple minutes, that's all. Just to spice this into the old connections. Oh, 
little hard to see. I'm trying to make it so you can still see. Simple as that. Clipped right in. Okay, got her all in and installed. Took me about 15 20 minutes. Not really rushing or anything. With a really simple, easy install. I just ran it underneath the dash. Got the cab here right now. You get some wire loom to tuck it all in after. Ran across there. Just right down here for now. I'm gonna be going compound turbos here in a few weeks. Going back to that, so I need to. Move this again, probably. I'm not gonna make it permanent anywhere right this second. It's not to heat shrink this, but I'm gonna wait until after the compounds. Unless that shrinks itself just from the heat. So I'll do a startup and see what it does. I imagine the EGTs on this truck are gonna be pretty hot because it's got a pretty much maxed out P7100 and 180 pump. Let's just see what we got going on here. So we got lights. There's some heat in the exhaust manifold still, as you can see. Truck's not cold. I just moved it over here, so there was some heat in there still.
like the human industry gauges because they're really high quality. When I'm racing or I'm fucking on it, I need to look really quick. It's really easy to see where each thing is at. If it's at 60, if it's at 50. It's really easy to read. Super easy to install. It took me like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to install it. Just take my time. Everything's really high quality. If you're in the market for some gauges, definitely give them a check out. Doesn't hurt to try, they're really reasonably priced, especially for what you get. I think they're like a crazy deal. I haven't had any issues with mine. I have another temperature gauge I gotta do an install on. Just wanna get the CGT gauge in real quick, see what it does. Like this truck should be around like 600 to 700 wheel horsepower if the transmission would hold it. So I know I'm putting a lot of heat into this and it hasn't failed yet. Obviously I just installed it, but I don't think it's going to fail either. It looks so damn good too. Like It's a really professional, nice clean look. You know that girly fucking sparkly lights and shit. You don't need any of that. so good they might give you a few horsepower and looks anyways that's my short little review of them i love them we're gonna be getting more gauges from them i suggest everyone else to try them out not many people know about them but they're there they're very good gauges to try the company's been around a really long time most people don't seem to know about them they're always going to these auto meter blow shit or something like that and those gauges are these are way too expensive and I don't even like how they look. I like these ones way more. And these are more reasonably priced. So definitely give them a check out. I'll put a link to their their webpage in the description here. Yeah, stay tuned, there'll be more videos coming.